Assalamu everybody, my name is Rahim and welcome to Muslim React. I will react to everything and anything Muslim. So today I will be reacting to a brand new video, the title of this video. Let me just check out the title of the video. Uh, it's called... What video am I reacting to? Okay, the video is called Christian Conference. Muslim after claiming Jesus is Muslim. Alright, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification button below so that every time I drop a new video, you get notified. And also give this video a thumbs up so it can be recommended to more people, hopefully more Muslim and non-Muslim alike so they can probably learn uh, a few things about Islam. Alright, so let's get into the video and check out Christian confronts Muslim after saying that Jesus is Muslim. So the, the, the sign that said uh, Jesus was a Muslim. Yes. <clears throat> For me, that, that, that struck me as, uh, as provocative because uh, when Jesus was alive, Islam had, didn't exist yet, right? Exactly. It, was, it came about in the 7th century AD with Muhammad. Mm. So what do you uh, understand by the term Muslim? And obviously these guys probably explained it. For me, a Muslim is so, uh, someone who, who tries to live their life by the teachings of Muhammad. Okay, right? so Muslim linguistically means a person who submits their will to the will of the Creator. Mm -hmm. And this, yeah, so that's where it gets interesting because, okay. so, because a Christian might also say that I submit my will to the will of the Creator. So could you say that a Christian is a Muslim as well? Yeah. So a, a, Can you be both? So now this is a question. Uh -huh. Uh, now, the, so for example, the disciples of Jesus Christ, or the followers of Moses, peace upon him, yeah. okay, who followed Moses his lifetime, etc. They were Muslims. Why? Because they were living the life according to the revelation which is given to their prophet, who was submitting his will to the will of the Father, oh, will of the Creator. I mean, Christians are called the Father, etc. Yeah. Okay. So, a person who submits the will to the will of God is called a Muslim. Okay. So, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Noah. All of these messengers and prophets were Muslims by that definition. Okay. So linguistically, it means so. The, uh, what some may think is a Muslim is a person who follows the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, or a Muslim is a person who is made from the Arabian Peninsula, for example. You know, some, yeah. of course, well, some that's, may that's, some may assume yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But this is incorrect. Muslim is the one who submits their will to the will of the Creator. Mm -hmm. So that's why Jesus Christ, he is a Muslim okay. according to us, and we believe in him. We believe in his miraculous birth. We believe in the miracles he carried out by the permission of God. Okay. All of these things, all the miracles he did, by well, whose permission? So yeah, so it's like, and, 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 and you would put all the Abrahamic prophets in that tradition. Absolutely. Like, uh, Abraham but it's, the question is... Moses. No, the, exactly. The, the question is, what, where are you deriving your knowledge on who these people were and what they revealed? The, what, what is your source material? So Jesus Christ, um, I mean, we believe in him as a person uh, who came with a message from God uh -huh. to guide us on how to live our lives. Okay, when God created us, do you think He just created us and left us aimlessly without any purpose? No. And do you think He uh, left us without guidance so we can't achieve that purpose which you believe we have? No, I think He did. He gave us guidance. Yeah, sure. And the messengers and prophets are the carriers of this guidance yes. from, from God. Okay. So Jesus Christ is a messenger from God. This is how we believe. Right, right, right. We don't would you say that like uh, a very devout Christian today who submits himself to God, like I don't know, Pope Francis or something, you wouldn't say that he was a Muslim? Now, for example, now, now does he view Jesus Christ as a part of God? Uh, yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So this is where we say, okay, I have to, I have to differ with you on this point because I believe God is one, and He's indivisible. Okay. He has no parts or factions. And you think that Jesus Himself believed that? Jesus, when he, when he worshipped, who did he worship? When, Je if Jesus was God Himself, yeah. Did he? Can God have another God? But in the Bible, Jesus says things like uh, he addresses God as Father. He says, "Father, why hast thou forsaken me?" So he, Jesus, de uh, it so sounds from the, the scriptures like Jesus thought that he was the Son of God and that he was a part of God. Exactly. Or at least that's an interpretation. So when he says, "Father, why have you forsaken me?" Yeah. Now, if he was God Himself, is he calling upon Himself? Number one. Mm. If he was God Himself, is he calling upon Himself? If he was a Son of God, then there are many other sons in the Bible. Do we take them as literal sons? No, we take them as metaphorical sons. Mm -hmm. David is, is known as the, uh, as, as the son of God in the Bible. Yeah. He's known as his firstborn. 
Yeah. But we don't say he's the actual son of God. Yeah. Because, why? Because we say it's a Would you say that's the main difference between Islam and Christianity is the, the tripartite division versus in Islam it's the oneness? Islam is the only purely monotheistic religion on the planet. So when it comes to, in terms of what, when we use our intellect yeah. okay, and our reasoning, yeah. it's up until a point. And that point is when we establish that this revelation I'm holding in my hands is from the Creator. After that point, whatever the Creator tells us about the unseen, we submit to without, without question. Why? Because once we've established that this is, the, this is God Himself speaking, okay, yeah. then if God says, yeah, there is a heaven and hell, there is angels and jinn and all of these things which exist, demons, yeah. etc., yeah, yeah. then we accept them uh, wholeheartedly and without question. Because we, until that point, we, we, we can say, okay, I can critique the Quran and say, well, is that this, it does this deserve to be the word of God? Does it have any mistakes inside it? Does it have any contradictions inside it? Has it been preserved? Now we find these qualities with the Quran and with the Bible, because we do obviously do comparative religion. Uh, have you looked into the Bible? Have I read the Bible? Uh, most of it. Mostly. Yeah. Uh, now we find, unfortunately, these these criteria for being the, the word of God are not met in the Bible. There are contradictions within the Bible, there are mistakes within the Bible yeah. and these point to the authorship of the Bible being human beings rather than God Himself because uh -huh. human beings can make mistakes. But the Old Testament was written by God though, right? Like so, uh, Genesis was written by God. Yes, yeah, so, so, no, so uh, the it Moses okay, or it came down through Moses, but so Ten Commandments. So it's a preservation of these of these of these uh, these manuscripts or, the, or this uh, text rather. Okay. Now, if it was written by God, would you agree that it should be free from error? Yes. Because God Himself is all knowing; He's yeah. perfect. Yes. yes. And if you were to see errors within this, would you then question this being the Word of God? Yes. And that's what we see. Yeah. The Old Testament as, and the New Testament. It's. I mean, there's over a hundred. Numerical. I mean, so it's not even um, like subject to interpretation. It's literally numerical, clear cut, black and white mistakes within it. Yeah. yeah have you yeah. Said, have you heard them before? I uh, yes, yeah, I, I, I'm familiar with most of them. Yeah. So so and 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 for you, the Quran has has none of those. Absolutely none. Absolutely not. Okay. If if there was to be one, especially similar to like what we find in the Bible, then of course a Muslim would reject the Quran completely. Uh -huh. And the Quran itself, and the preservation is different as well. The Bible, we, if you look at the okay, manuscripts, number one, earliest manuscripts, okay, at best 100 years after Jesus Christ, at yeah. best, at most 300 years yeah, for yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, uh, yeah. other ones. The Quran was written in Arabic was uh, uh, during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, the oldest, one of the oldest manuscripts of the Quran is in Birmingham which has been carbon dated to the lifetime or close to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and it's in Birmingham they found it in 2015 wow. as late as that wow. Wow. so not just that when they looked at the manuscript the Arabic from from I thought over a thousand years and today is identical okay. wow. so these all these evidences because you have to be evidence-based like we do with yeah. every other aspect of our lives yeah conveniently when it comes to religion we tend to disengage our minds and say well you know we can never understand Islam says no use those faculties that you have yeah and reason and find the truth and if something makes sense to you, be sincere to yourself to believe it. Well, so we don't dictate anything. It's very nice. Rather, we say question uh, and learn and and, and reflect. Well, uh, yes, I'll, I'll have a look at this. Uh, Would you like a Quran? Because you've spoken so much about it. Sure. Yeah. Of yeah, course. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I think I have a I have an old copy in my house. But, this is um, this this is not Shakespearean English. It's normal English. Okay. It's, it's one of the most accurate translations of the Quran okay. in in normal English terms, essentially. Yeah. So uh, take this away with you. You have a little index at the back here Great. where you can search for certain t uh, certain words and uh, uh, or certain terms and where they appear inside the Quran. Uh, so look, we are not enemies of Christians or anything like that. I know. I Rather, know. we accept Jesus Christ. All we say is, do not give him uh, a status which he himself never uh -huh. gave himself. Like, I am God. Uh -huh. He never said, like, uh, unequivocally, I am God, and uh, by in turn, worship me. He never said that. He always worshipped the Father. He always called upon the Father. You know, if he was God, why would he call, why would he say, you know, uh, my God and your God? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would he have his own God if he was God himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's these illogical fallacies which, which which come into that whole concept of the Trinity, which till this day I, I assure you we speak to a lot of Christians. Yeah. Till this day, and even Christians, you know yourself, yeah. can never square that circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just, no, it's true. I mean, it's it's one of the mysteries, isn't it? And yeah. a mystery is one point, but illogical is probably a more accurate tr <laughs> accurate term. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mystery is a convenient yeah, word to get out of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's completely illogical. Okay. Yeah. So you know. For us, 
We w we work with like we we've been given these minds for a reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's very true. It's very it's, uh, <laughs> I, I, I agree. I agree with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it was lovely to meet you. If I've said anything uh, which has caused any offence, please uh, forgive no, me. No, 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 it's no, not no, my, no, no, it's no, not my no, intention. No, 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 if you have any questions, yeah. uh, we're on Instagram, TikTok, all the rest of it. Okay. Uh, it's on the card on the inside. Pop us okay. a message. Okay. okay. And uh, and we're happy to sort of follow up with you there. Great. We're here every Saturday, one to five. Take it. Take it. All right, so that, that was a very good conversation, and the brother was actually respectful. It's kind of hard to find Christians who just be respectful towards Islam. Most people are always uh, I can't find my chain. I have my chain here, but I can't. Anyway, yeah. So he was very respectful. It's you know he's he's searching like most of us. We are we all uh, out here trying to find the truth. We want to live the best life we can. Yeah, so it was really interesting. Yeah. All right, so this has been Muslim Reactor. We react to everything and anything Muslim. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, still give it a thumbs up. So until next time, inshallah, peace.